You okay? No, I lost something last night and I'm going crazy without it. So my locket's not at your house? No locket, no. But my place is a mess upstairs, so. I'll keep an eye out for it, though. How are you doing otherwise? Better now that she's not being held hostage. Todd. Next time you call Star, I will break all of your calling fingers. Uh, add that to the stuff you owe me. One phone. And one family. Coming here was a mistake. I'm sorry to flip out like that. It wasn't you. And? And what? And I called you a million times last night to check up on you and Star. That was quite a stunt your buddy Zach pulled. You never called me back, Todd. Yeah, I thought you were a telemarketer. You have caller ID. Well, didn't you say you wanted nothing to do with me? Plus, I left you a message this morning, did I not? Yeah, yeah, you sure did. To get my ambulance-chasing ass over <laughs> here so we could discuss a custody yes, deal. Yes, that's right. Would your ambulance-chasing ass like some coffee? Let's get this over with. That's fine. You just have to admit that you engineered the marriage between John and Blair, and that it was a huge mistake. Oh, is that all? There's one caveat, of course, you have to admit it to a judge. Okay, let's, so let me let me get this straight. You really think that your kids <laughs> are better off with you? You don't give a damn about my kids. I'm just using them to stick it to me. I know how much you care about your kids, Tom. Yeah, well, the court's going to give them back to me, guaranteed. We'll have to once I expose how bad McBain messed things up with Rosen. Do you have a comprehension problem? I mean, I'm serious. The only reason Zach Rosen went after Star was because of you. The judge will see you as the threat to your kids that you are. So you honestly think that Star, Jack, and Sam are better off with John? The kids seem fine to me. <laughs> see if you still feel the same way when Star gets knocked out by our biology teacher. Oh, no, John didn't tell you about her latest crush? I wouldn't think so. It's one of the two billion things he doesn't know about her. Or about parenting, for that matter. Look, Todd, John McBain risked his life to save you and Star. Frankly, I don't think you would do the same thing for him. I shot. Maybe I missed. It's a good thing the cops came when they did, I'll tell you that. It's very big of you to save me the trouble of going all the way to court just to get shot down. I'm not interested in seeing you hurt, Todd. Oh, really? Since when? Since always. Then take me up on my offer. Come on, it'll ease your guilty conscience if you admit to a judge that Blair and John pulled a fast one in court. And you get to have me as your love slave. And we both know what that'll ease. Lose my number. Come on, you're tempted and you know it. You disgust me. Hold on, what are you doing here? You said you wanted to discuss the kid's custody. You could have called my lawyer for that. Come on, you came here to make sure I was okay. Well, and I can see how moved you are by my concern. Yes. You wanted me to call first because your wounded pride wouldn't let you make the first move. It says to me, you don't just care about me. You want me. I should have listened to Vicky. I should have... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Hmm. You went to Vicky about this? Well, I had to tell someone about your charming offer, and I figured it should be your sister, the only person on the planet who might vaguely sympathize with you. That was a lot of words to justify one conversation. I'm not justifying it. Oh, I'm sorry. Explaining it. <clears throat> I went to Vicky because I wanted to know if I was overreacting. Because I, I, I was disgusted and I was, I was offended and it was unbearable what you offered me. It was unbearable. 
Todd. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It seems to me like you're just looking for an excuse to come see me again. But let me guess. I had to just hear it. Vicky praised the Lord that you had finally seen the light. And finally I'd done something so despicable that not even you could justify it. And finally you could be rid of me. You're free and you can move on. And, and Todd will only have himself to blame. Am I, am I getting warm? Maybe. Then what are you doing here? Maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment. I don't know, maybe you look at me and you see the guy I fell in love with the first time. You have no idea what I see. I think you see that I love my kids. No, I think that deep down you... You think that I'm not such a bad guy after all. And maybe you can fix me. I know you love a good project. You are so vain. You know... Oh, I'm so vain. I'm so vain, unpredictable, despicable, mean-spirited, and you love it. You want it. Come on, you fixed me once before. Let's try it again. Help me get my kids back. Let the healing begin. You're not worth the effort anymore. You don't believe that. Wait a minute. Hey, you've had a string of losers since we broke up. Oh, yeah, keep telling yourself that. Hey, you remember when we were married? You used to throw yourself at me, and I'd say, no, Taya, I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood. Is that what you need? Is that what you need, Taya? Oh. Huh? Want me to refuse you? I'm game. Beg me. Beg me! Get on your knees, Taya! Oh. Beg me, and you shall receive.